What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Monstrosity's Voice, Hearts Untouched Conversations, the podcast for Black Horror by Black Horror. I'm your lovely host, Kaija Fields, and I have a special guest in the building because that last episode of me by myself was intense. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, y'all. Happy We're here new with a year. New Year special, and I'm here with my great friend, Brandon Barry, who is... First, wait, wait, wait. Just tell them who you are because I feel like you do better than <laughs> I do with explaining everything that you do and who you are. So. Stop, stop. Uh, my name is Brandon Barry. I am an intoxicologist extraordinaire or a very fantastic bartender like this lovely lady right here. I'm an entrepreneur. I own King of Hearts LLC, which is a company based on black luxury drinks, cocktails, and a great time celebrating blackness. So awesome. Yeah. Cool being so um, I wanted to do something special for New Year's Eve. Um, and I wanted him to come on and make a spooky drink for us. So yeah. um, he's gonna come on and, and make that drink like yes. right here in front of y'all. Um, and y'all can recreate it at home if you want to. Um, also, he's located in the Houston, Texas area. So if you wanna support black business, um, we'll have all of his information down in the description box below where you can find him and reach him and get his services. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes, awesome. I'm super excited, yes. So tell us about the drink first and where so, it came from. So. Uh, this drink that I'm going to be making for us is called Dawn of the Dead, and it is based on the movie Dawn of the Dead, which is a dope zombie movie. Um, I can't remember how old it is. I, I feel like it came out in like 2005, something like that. Wait, like, the remake came out in 2004. Oh, yes. Y'all, right. don't, yeah. don't come for me in the comments. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Please. Please, um, but yes, uh, based on the remake, uh, I just thought it was a uh, fantastically done. At least at the time that I was looking at it, um, I feel like it's kind of hard to make like really, really good zombie movies. Yeah. But uh, I think they did better than most. So, okay. Uh, this is a um, sunny kind of warm drink. It's made with tequila, which is the only kind of alcohol that is not a depressant. So kind of like boost you up a little bit and the way them zombies was running in that movie is kind of perfect period right because <laughs> they were running really fast yes they're not like the og like, zombies no, like they're all said oh these are ass kicking you know slow so. you know what i'm saying yeah. and take forever to very get very very fast yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um it's, it's you know it's a little citrusy uh and it's actually a spinoff of another drink that i have called break of dawn which okay. is inspired by my mom whose name is dawn okay oh that's beautiful yeah yeah so okay, well um, let's I'm, I'm excited. Awesome. I'm excited. Yes. So uh, we start off with some gold tequila. All right. We ain't showing no bottles because they ain't sponsoring us. So uh, we don't we don't do that. But um, any kind of gold tequila you want is always fine. Um, it really just doesn't matter. Uh, and honestly, I I make a lot of my cocktails that way. Uh, you know, it's kind of like one size fits all. So you can use the ingredients that you like. You're just gonna get a dope profile okay so this is really um kind of like a citrusy tropical uh, margarita mm -hmm. so it does have a little bit of agave in there i got some sweet and lime juice because i just prefer to use that over fresh squeeze so mm -hmm. it's not super duper sour mm -hmm. it's more so on the tart side all right and then we got some um you know your your orange liqueur i'm using uh this new uh, liqueur it's called Grand Gala mm -hmm. so I'm gonna put y'all on to that because it's actually really nice very smooth tastes really really good and then uh, you just want to use some orange juice and uh, some sour I'm like mix. mesmerized by this drink <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can't wait to I'm show like, it's like all, I'm, I'm like almost a zombie done. looking at this drink <laughs> yeah I'm almost done I swear um, um, so great it is so so great I promise Got some nice sweet orange juice, you know what I'm saying? Sweet People don't talk about juice. how like hard orange the core like really is. Like, yeah. You drink that oh. by itself. Oh man. You gonna be <laughs> leaning like. That's what I'm because... saying. You be leaning a little bit. You gonna bit, be leaning okay? a little bit. A little like... bit at least. Shout out to my dad who always drinks orange liqueur by itself. <laughs> I'm like, dad, wait, relax. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Please calm down. Calm right? Down. 
All right. That's about good right Yay. there. And the final touch uh, is strawberry puree. That's the blood, That's the blood, y'all. This I'm is so all, excited about this is the everything blood. just spilling out all hey. over the place. Ah, it's so yeah. cute. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the bloody good. Yes, and it sinks to the bottom. That's so cute. But, Hold on, like, let's see so yeah. everyone can see it. But it creates a nice little umber effect. That's right? so cute. And yeah, so that's what we got right here. I'm going to go ahead and pass this over to this queen. I want to drink it, y'all. Yes, and we're definitely going cheers. to enjoy it. So Happy cheers. New Year. Happy, New Happy New Spooky Year. New Year. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Woo, you gotta be careful with that. <laughs> yes. I'm not even allowed to. <laughs> All of my drinks are super smooth. I don't know if y'all saw how much tequila was poured, but I don't pour like a punk, I promise. Yeah. Okay. Um. So just a little bit of background. So what yes. is your relationship with horror? Like, did you grow up watching horror movies? Did you, if you did, did you, what, what are your favorites? And if you didn't, tell me why you don't like horror. Okay, so I have a very love-hate relationship with horror okay, movies so. because um i'm kind of like a sap i get scared easily mm -hmm. <laughs> so but i did grow up watching scary movies i actually really enjoy it uh -huh. um the first scary or like horror movie that i remember really like getting to me was jeepers creepers really jeepers creepers bugged the fuck uh -huh. out of me you can cuss oh. that's cool <laughs> good because i got a potty mouth but yes Jeepers Creepers got me good. I, I mean, I was I was young. You know, when Jeepers Creepers came out, we were, I don't know, like maybe. Well, that was 2003, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, be, was, I we usually have the dates, but yeah. yeah, I think it was 2003. We were young, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, that's third, fourth grade, yeah. you know what I'm saying, for us. And uh, I actually had a nightmare about that damn movie. I had really? a, yeah, I had a nightmare that uh, that he was like over me, waiting to like eat my eyes really? and my tongue. Oh like, my God. Oh, I was stressed. The, I was stressed out. I was completely oh, stressed no. out. Oh no! Yeah. And so, yeah. like that kind of. I don't. It didn't. It didn't like traumatize me, but I was just like, damn. Sometimes scary movies are actually like really good at yeah. like, getting you with those chills and stuff. Because I've watched plenty of scary movies and I've never had nightmares over them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that Jeepers Creepers was a doozy. Now we don't have to talk about the second and third ones because those were. Yeah, Jeepers Creepers. Um really when i think of that it's it's the whole concept of that movie is mind your damn business because they wouldn't have been in that situation if the little brother didn't mind his damn business but that's for another episode y'all season four coming in a couple months you indeed, know indeed. mind your business um but yeah jeepers groupers i think for me um it was probably final destination oh yes yeah i was um like yes. six years old when that Good. came out five or six and uh Todd's death scene where he died in the shower. Yeah, um, with the, yeah. I, that, I'm still not over that, and I'm 25. Ooh. That was 20 years ago. <laughs> Ooh, 20 years ago, and I'm still not over that. Um, but are there any other horror movies or any like horror series that you like now? Like, did you watch Lovecraft or like, did you, were you a fan of The Walking Dead or anything like that? You know, um, I actually only saw a couple of sordid episodes mm -hmm. of uh, uh, The Walking Dead. And it's not because I didn't like it, but I was always catching it in the middle. And I'm the type of person that I don't want to ruin the content of the show. Mm -hmm. So I have to watch it all from the all beginning. From the beginning yeah. But I caught on to it after it was maybe like two or three seasons deep. And so I didn't have anybody who wanted to like start over and uh -huh. watch it with me. So I was just like, I'm gonna catch it. And then I'll be able to like. It's like really, Grey's Anatomy. Really, like you can't start Grey's Anatomy from the middle of the damn okay, series. Like no. And Walking Dead is long. And yeah. unpopular opinion, I did not watch The Walking Dead, um, at all. I've probably seen like two episodes of The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. I'm not a TV person. I'm more of a mm -hmm. movie person because yeah. I'm a terrible Legends fan. <laughs> so yeah, I admire people that like sit and like, oh, I'm gonna watch the series from the beginning. Hell no, I'm not gonna watch the series from the beginning. <laughs> I will do it. I'll definitely do it for sure. Yeah. But um. Uh, yeah, I just haven't started, especially because I know how long it is. It's very long. Yeah. And then now they have like, they have like a spinoff of it now. But uh, it's fear, like fear, how, the, walking fear the Walking Dead. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I'm not a TV person. So, but Lovecraft Country was the shit. But that's not here nor there. Shout out to Monkey Paw Jordan Peele with that one. I'm definitely gonna get. Into oh, it what I honestly games. like would recommend you to like do the seven day trial for HBO Max and like watch it. Oh yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> man, Lovecraft Country. I'm still. It's been like a mother show since it's yeah. ended and like i'm still digesting that show absolutely like that okay so now. like you need to watch y'all yeah. need to watch love craft y'all i mean need to watch i've heard great things so and this is an expert right here so if she says it it's the truth <laughs> trust her trust his face trust so her. um 
in regards to like i don't want to say 2020 because we really didn't get that many horror movies this year are there any movies that you're kind of anticipating to see like Candyman or like any other films honestly no no because the movies are like not going to be the same for Watching us, at least, inside, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. At least for a while, like uh, one of the things I actually love about watching horror films in the theaters is like the collective, <gasps> yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah, that you yeah, get, yeah, like yeah, you know, yeah. just like that 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 energy of like, mm -hmm. oh fuck, I'm scared, you yeah. know what I'm saying, coming from everybody, like imminent, you can feel it, it's yeah, tense, and I kind of like that. Yeah. I like that. I like not feeling alone in exactly. my scaredness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's so. nothing like sitting in a theater, a dark, cold, because movie theaters are cold, mm -hmm. ass movie theater, watching mm -hmm. a horror film. Me personally, I always have to have a drink when I'm watching a horror movie because I get stressed out. Uh, I'll never forget when I was watching Hereditary, Ari Aster's Hereditary. I had no clue what the movie was about. I didn't know who Ari Aster really was. And I was sitting in the movie and there's a scene spoiler alert, where Charlie's mom, well, um, Annie is sitting in the corner of, of his bedroom and he wakes up and he can't see that she's behind him crawling on the wall, but he, everybody in the audience like is like screaming, 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 and like we're all discovering that she's literally on the wall, and we're just like, ah! and I like ran out of the theaters and went and got a jacket coat because I that oh god, oh he stressed me out Yo. like. I'll never forget watching Orphan for the first time. I think I was in, um, I think I was a freshman in high school when Orphan Let's came see. out. And Let at the see. end of that movie, when we found out that it was like a 30 fucking year old Bro, lady, what? I was like, <laughs> what is going on here? So yeah, like I Ooh. completely understand. Plot twist, man. Maybe they should offer free drinks when they see horror. Cause you need it, it's gonna stress you out. Please, but it's a please. great, just a great, a great feeling. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. I, um. You know, I recently went back and I actually watched a lot of my favorite horror films. And I feel like, I don't know, I think I romanticize horror on a conceptual level because mm -hmm. a lot of what my favorite horror films wouldn't necessarily be like what, I guess what you would call like your go-tos. Mm -hmm. For example, Joyride. Okay. Paul Walker, you know. Okay. That's a yeah. good one. That is a good that one. That is a good one. If you've shout never out to seen Rosario Dawson. Absolutely. Yeah, shout oh, out to Rosario Dawson. And rest in peace movie. to Paul Walker. Yes. Oh my goodness. Um so I watched I watched the first one. I haven't seen uh in, like the sequel or I think there's actually a Joyride 3 now as well, but um I didn't I didn't watch those. I just I love the first one. Uh I actually really adore Paul Walker mm -hmm. as uh an actor and uh it's very sad that he's gone. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I watched it, and there's just something scary about, you know, like, just two brothers wanting to have a fun road trip um, with their friend, the girl that, that came along with them, and, you know, you're, you're just playing a prank, and this person who you play this prank on decides, you know what, bitch? I'm gonna kill you. Fuck you. I'm, I'm gonna kill I'm, you. I'm, yes, yes. Period. And I'm gonna kill other people, because you embarrass Wait, me. Wait, you like, yeah. you, you It's, it's a perfect example of, like, just like wrong, not wrong place, wrong time, but like wrong person. Absolutely. Like you don't, just don't fuck with anybody. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's funny because Joyride reminds me, it's like Joyride is one of those underrated horror movies. Yes. Like this other movie that I yes. watched as a kid called Rest Stop. It used to come on sci-fi all the time. And it was, if you haven't seen Rest Stop, please go watch it. It is crazy as shit. And it's about this woman who goes on this trip mm -hmm. down a long road or a long highway. And they she stops at this rest stop. Her boyfriend gets murdered. This guy's trying to kill her. And it's just a bunch of weird shit. But it was, that's a part of my childhood that I really liked. Like yeah. waking up on Saturdays. Y'all know sci-fi used to play all the horror movies Oh, all the good ones too. And <laughs> yeah, you know, so Joy Ride, just thinking about that brings me, brings that nostalgia back. Like, damn, mm -hmm. it's a really good movie. It was. I um, absolutely. Can you list a few of your other um, horror movies that you like? Okay, let's see. Or like top three. Um, so the, I, I absolutely equate uh, Joyride uh, in my top three. Definitely. Okay. You know what? Um, the Conjuring Two. Oh, you did say that when we had the conversation. The Conjuring <laughs> we Two. We definitely were talking about the Conjuring Two. Oh my God. Oh yes, definitely the Conjuring Two. Uh -huh. Um, one more that just like gets me. <sighs> Joyride, Conjuring 2. If you can I feel cool like it, it, it's one more. It, 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 it'll, it'll come to him. It'll yeah, come it'll to you. Come to I remember him. watching The Conjuring, the very first one. I was a senior in high. No, I think I'd already graduated. It was the summer of my, so I'm telling my age, y'all. But it was the summer. <laughs> 
of when I graduated high school and my friend, I went to go see it with two very close friends of mine and my friend Tiffany, shout out to Tiffany. Um, she has this huge tree in front of her house. And if y'all remember in The Conjuring, that girl was hanging from that tree. And I remember we had to drop Tiffany off. <laughs> After watching the movie, and I'm looking like, you gonna get out the car? Because I ain't gonna get out the car. <laughs> yeah, it's tree in front of the house resembles a tree. I was in the movie, and I'm just sitting there like, golly, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. That is crazy. No, it's just like, because now you're dealing with, like, a realm of that us as human beings, like, there's such a small percentage of us that actually know how to even tap into that and and, and understand what goes on in, in a that whole other, exactly a whole other realm that we don't like we don't physically see you know what i'm saying we don't know how to combat that you know what i'm saying now you're talking about um demons straight from the I pits mean, the pits you the can be pits. firing brimstone <laughs> that, play, that like play on like your faith mm -hmm. and you know like you know what you believe if you're if you're religious or even just spiritual yeah and they prey on that mm -hmm. and they fucking terrorize yeah. you you know in your own home it don't matter where you go like they're they're fucking with you and even with that whole trope of like the concept of like it's not the house it's the demon inside of you yeah whoa yeah. like the they, yeah. they were like the conjuring really this is like oh it's not the house exactly you can don't leave the house you, it's don't you where you go because they yeah. left with the whole well in the, i'm talking about the first movie but yeah. they left and it's like it's not the house it's, it's you exactly <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm following you i'm not stuck to the house so are you familiar with like um this whole like resurgence or not resurgence of this whole like era of like black horror films like with Jordan Peele and Monkey Paul and Get Out and Absolutely. how do you feel about that? I'm so happy. It makes me so happy because now we're getting uh, into an era in our lives, especially as black people, where we're getting to see black art, black horror. Yeah. On on a big scale absolutely on a big screen we never get to see that and as a matter of fact all we do get to see is any black people that may be in a movie getting killed like First. very early on exactly. because honestly like us as black people when some shit ain't right oh we're out of there we're out, i'm out like asap we're you know it's, it's, it's we're not gonna stay and so i guess that wouldn't make much of a movie but <laughs> 20 minutes and the movie's over in credit <laughs> And that's because we have that intuition. Absolutely, like uh, -uh this don't, this don't, this don't match, this don't add up. Exactly, like things that match and add up. So I'm about to. Exactly. You, you come, oh, okay. Exactly. Well, I'm, I'm gone. So yeah, um, but I, I love it though. It's just, it's, it's very nice to see real representation from people who think just like us exactly. and understand horror just like us exactly. and respond to horror just, just like, like us. us. So it's everyone nice. wants to. Shout out to Zero Gravity, but everyone wants to see themselves on screen. Absolutely. You know, and so I think it's imperative that yes. we, especially in the genre that we are marginalized in, that we are not represented in correct, or mm. historically have not been represented in, a, a genre where we have been ostracized yep. um, because of our color yep. and the fact that we don't, our lives don't matter so much that we don't get the opportunity to fight for life in these movies. Because that's what horror is, is like yeah. the fight for life. Mm -hmm. It's important that we, you know, have that representation Oh, it's just a black horror. Black. There's a, I want black villains. I want black yes. and final girls. I want black um, serial killers. I want black universal monsters. You know, I want these impactful, you know, images in the horror community that look like me. Absolutely. And so I think it's it's imperative, and I'm I'm so appreciative of what Jordan Peele is doing, and not just him. Yeah. Um, not just a, a ton of just black representation in horror, and just where that's going. And I'm just in extreme appreciative of where that is headed um but yeah thank you so much for yeah. coming oh, i'm well, so happy that you came uh, yeah, this is no, my friend yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and thank you one for one making one. this awesome drink dawn of the dead um Absolutely. where can we find you on social media okay so please always go to instagram at underscore king of hearts uh twitter king of hearts llc facebook king of hearts llc also king of hearts .com. So I'm. How do you spell heart though? Because I know it's spelled different. Yes. So King of Hearts is all one word. It's King of H E A R T X. Yeah. All right. It threw me for a loop. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally only did that because that's what's taken. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Come on, domain name. It worked out. It worked out. It worked but out. But thank you so much for coming. <laughs> and this fun drink for New Year's, y'all. Please Absolutely. be safe and responsible. This is New Year's. Um, Thank y'all so much for supporting Monstrosity's Voice Hearts Untouched Conversations throughout the year of 2020. This year has been a shit show. Yes. Um, thank you for um, listening to me talk about my 
horror movies. 2021 is going to be an awesome year. Awesome, um, again, if you guys want to follow us on social media at MVHU Podcast on Instagram, Twitter. If you want to follow our sister company, Kai Horror Group, um, you can follow us on Instagram, KF Horror Group. And then if you want to go on the website, it's www.kaifhorror.com. Um, if you want to to the platform to keep this content coming, there will be a link description box open your purse shout out to girl that's scary podcast <laughs> open your purse <laughs> and again thank y'all for supporting black horror films please support this beautiful black owned business if you're in h-town houston texas please support this beautiful black owned business um and uh, stay spooky y'all peace Absolutely. happy new year